today's topic suspended depreciation and uh, it's like uh, important important interrogations also so how to stop the depreciation for uh, running asset i created asset in uh, carp book i am depreciating since 6 months or 1 year after install the asset i want to stop the particular uh, asset for depreciation calculation uh, because of asset was not in use this is the main objective then we want to stop the depreciation per particular month so go to home page go to home page go to fixed assets assets let me choose the my card book go to adjust assets query the your asset number query the asset number go to capitalized asset go to actions Go to okay, it is already. Let me take another asset number. Go to suspend depreciation. So here asset number is 10381. I want to stop depreciation of our running month, November month. Go here, do the suspend depreciation, give the comment, test, click OK. Then query the asset again, 10381, search it. Now you can see the status, suspended depreciation. So in future, you want to resume it, query the same asset. Query the same asset in the same navigation. Then you can click the resume depreciation in the next month, December month. That will be calculated for from December month. So November month, it will not calculate. So when you suspend a depreciation, particular month, November month, depreciation will not calculate logically. And accounting will not calculate it when you initiate the create accounting program. And suspended depreciation will be effective from present month or example November month. So I noted the navigation. You guys can try. Whatever suspended depreciation we mentioned means one month November month that will be treated as a catch up. Or Missed depreciation expense in the last period of the life. So this is a very, very important topic nowadays. Thanks guys for watching the video. Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.